Since my last variety search for the 1960 D over D large date was so successful and I found 20 of them, I felt like going through a bunch of 1961 Ds and finding an even more valuable repunch mint mark on the Denver as well. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and like I said in the intro, we scored a ridiculous amount of awesome repunch mint marks in my last hunt for the 1960D. We tried to find the D over D, small date over large date, really valuable variety, couldn't find it. But for 1961, there is a pretty valuable variety here too. It's another RPM. It's actually a D over a horizontal D, if you can believe it. Pretty crazy. The good news is, I checked the PCGS website to take a look at it. 1961D, D over horizontal D, FS501 this time. I'll be looking at them under the red designation for prices, mainly because these are uncirculated and 90% of them are gonna be red. So I went and took a look at it, figured I'd zoom in on there for you. You can clearly see the D over horizontal D. The better picture is in here, but pretty obvious. You're looking for a little protrusion to the west of the Denver Mint and some minor pieces of that horizontal D within the second Denver Mint punch. That being said, it's a pretty good coin to find. Auction record is 228. General population is not as easy to find as that 1960 D over D large date as expected. It's why it's more valuable. But if we can get some in between the 64 and 66 range, you're looking at 50 to 100 bucks once again. Now I went ahead and checked a couple listings for it, just from dealer listings to get an idea. They're asking $50 for that one, which is an MS-64. But I checked online, they're going between $50 and $75 for 64 to 65 mint state grades. So I'm hoping to find one in here. Anything more than that would be a bonus. Not expecting to find as many because there's only about 10% of the population of the 61 Ds as there is of the 60 Ds for the repunch mint mark. That's why it's more valuable. Still, I've got a partial roll that I have here, plus another pickup from that same lot. So, hoping we find it in this lot, but if not, maybe this uncirculated set that I've done for my corn roll hunts might have some in there. No sense lollygagging. Let's close this book up and start the hunt. Well, we're halfway through the stack. I've got the four stacks of the eight search, plus my little partial roll so far. No fines. Just want to give you an update. We'll see if there's something in those four stacks next. Well, as luck would have it, searched all eight stacks there. Not one was the 1961 Denver D over horizontal D FS501. Still, that's roll hunting or variety hunting. Sometimes you strike it big, sometimes you strike out. But it's the thrill of the hunt that I enjoy, and I had a good time hunting these. Wish I would have found one, but... You can't expect them to be in every single one of your stacks. And because these were uncirculated lots, probably had only a handful of rolls that were used to fill these flips up. If it wasn't in the original roll, probably wouldn't be in the flips, which is why we scored none on this one and a lot on the last hunt. The hunt continues for this variety. I will not give up looking for it. Just like I plan on bringing you guys a few more variety hunts in the near future. If you're enjoying these variety hunts and they're providing some education for you, even though we're not finding anything sometimes, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.